This is a sight you don't see every day. Rather than a bridge going over a river, Capital Region residents this morning may see a bridge sailing down the river. Sabrina Dami joins us live along the Hudson River. Good morning, Sabrina. Good morning, Phil. We're at the Queeman's Landing, and the bridge actually went by about 45 minutes ago. This is the bridge that is replacing the Willis Avenue Bridge in New York City. It left 5.30 on the dot this morning from the Queeman's Port. Uh, it's moving at about 6 miles per hour. It's 2,400 ton. They constructed the entire thing at the port in one piece. The project took about 18 months. Now, when it sits on the barge, it's uh, about a 100 feet high, 350 feet long, 77 feet wide. Now, uh, as it moves down the Hudson River, it's expected to take 24 hours before it actually reaches uh, New York City, where it will go over the Harlem River, connecting Manhattan to the Bronx, replacing the century-old Willis Avenue Bridge. As it makes its way down the river, it will have to go under several bridges, including the Kingston Bridge, which is the lowest bridge uh, on its journey. That bridge is about 150 feet high, and as I said, when this bridge is on the barge, it's about 100 feet high. So there's only a difference of 30 feet there. Uh, the bridge is being escorted by three tugboat captains and a Coast Guard gunship along the way. It'll be in New York City around sometime around 530 tomorrow morning.